Okay naman tayo sa music. Nakarapan na po sila. Thank you. Okay po ba? Adeline number one. Naka-istro na. May pinahirapan ka ng ating treasure. Oo nga. Grabe na ba yung si treasure? Treasure. So, hindi mo kasi ako na mag-boom. Di ba ata na basa? Yung po sa kalamang kandidate na gawa? I'm a little nervous, but I'm having fun. How about you? Okay, yung question niya. Kung sinagot ka ako, pa-audit daw. Okay lang. Grabe. Gusto ko na bigit mo. Okay. 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 The hashtag that I picked or chose was security and well-being. Ladies and gentlemen, in this very challenging world that we are living right now, we all know that, especially in our country, there are a lot of places here in the Philippines wherein it is very hard for us to, to move or to go places simply because we think that we are not safe. We think that um, our well-being and our um, protection when it comes to ourselves is not safe. But I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that these things happen because of terrorism and uh, violence and criminals, stuff like this. But I always believe, ladies and gentlemen, that if only all of us would be able to help each other, if only each and every one of us would be able to do our duties and responsibilities as a person. Because I believe that we, as human beings, does not live here alone. I believe that we should always remember that all of us are connected towards each other. And all of us are brothers and sisters. Therefore, all of us should always help each other no matter what. So, if in case that we can see or we see other people get um, incidents like this, we should always help each other. We should always share that love and uh, understanding and care towards each other. Because I always believe that there is no insurmountable odds that we human beings cannot face if we can only act as one, think as one, and be as one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Fiona Gray. Candidate number two is Stephen Stefania Cruz Lopez. Yo, Dian. So, Miss, ano siya ni Vietnam? Siya ang tangkat? Si Hen Hen Lee. Anong height mo talaga? Uh, to be honest, without heels, I'm 6 flat. And with heels, I'm 6 3. Sabi mo ba, Miss Hen Hen Lee? By the way, you are beautiful and so handsome to have. Thank you so much. Wow, 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 Hashtag pollution. Oh, well, that is a very nice hashtag. Actually, I think I walk a lot here in Tondo, Manila. I mean, in Capo, Manila. I have lots of friends here. That's really sometimes I go here because it's really fun place to be, which is Capo, Manila, in Tondo. But sometimes when I walk on the street, I found out that there's a lot of uh, garbage on the street itself. You no know, people. You know, uh, everyone here, Barangay Chiro, I mean, you should think of it. Because uh, we need to go at least pick up these small pieces of candy trash. So put it in the right garbage so we can able to have a greener city. Because at the end of the day, pag may nagsama-sama mo ang mga basurang yan, sa patay yung titira, nag-iisa lang ang ating mundo, kailangan natin itong mahalin. Because I always believe that everyone of us has a purpose in this world. You should start within yourself. Kung hindi ka magiging mabuting tao at wala kang concern sa planetang Earth, 
walang mangyayari. Kailangan magtulungan tayo at magyakap at mag-copy-based sa pag-sagip sa ating inang inang mundo. Because tayo lang din ang makikita kita sa finals. Kaya kailangan tilapan natin at let's preserve Mother Earth. Thank you so much. 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 How are you, Miss Beautiful? I'm so happy and excited. Wow. Okay. Speak your hashtag. 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 Wait now. Where are you going to hear your books? Okay. 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 Your hashtag is hashtag terrorism. Okay, the word hashtag terrorism. Ladies and gentlemen, as of now, in our world, we, many people, have a lot of problems when it comes to terrorists. Not only for Asia, but also outside Asian countries. One of the main factors that, that terrorists have been attacked is because one country is suffering a lot of problems. They think if they do something about it, but sometimes they too much has a game of something, a problem that will happen to our country. Like a, for example, what happened in Syria, there's a lot of terrorism right now there. Their country is a lot of, has a lot of problems. They are poor and they think people from there, they want to leave, but of course, the main problem is that they don't have a lack of many things in this in their country. So I guess the main thing is that we should hand in hand one another, we should communicate, and we should respect one another. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Kelly. Number three, Miss Anna Barbie Terasurna, also known as Miss Ria Ramos. Candidate number four, Miss Patricia Payu. Hello, Miss Maxine Medina. Yata mo na ang mga lumig? Hindi po. At talaga ba ito? Alam, kasuhan lang ito ah. Yes, no. At talaga ng piling hashtag ay... Wala bang tugtog dyan? Ay, ano ito? Piesta ka? Piesta ka! Piesta ka! Wala pa? Piesta ka! Hindi ko rin ito mga judge. Bawal mo piusin. Okay. Ito mga gano'n. Hasta government corruption. Government corruption. Government corruption is a very sensitive issue to tackle. My father works for the government. He works for DPWH as a secretary in Region 4A. My father has always been a good example for our family. He's always been a good provider. And he's been a role model for me to always take calm and patient in every situation. But the hashtag that I picked was government corruption. I believe that all of us here should be honest about what we just have. We should not take what is not ours. Because at the end of the day, just think about it. Every single centavo that you will steal from the government's money, it will be used for the improvement of our country. Just think of it, like right now we are facing a lot of problems. Number one is traffic. If we stop government corruption, we can build better facilities, especially for transportation. And that, I believe, is a success to a better Philippines. So stop government corruption for a progressive and more successful country of the Philippines. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Maxine. Next candidate number five is Mary G. Lopez, also known as Maid. How are you, Mr. 
Lion up. I'm pretty good, sir. How does it feel tonight? I kind of feel nervous, but of course, as a queen, I should be stand even the greatest of your pressure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Your hashtag is. Your hashtag is. Your hashtag is. is considered as a part of the poverty. I believe that the poverty is the worst form of violence. So we people, each and every one of us, let's just fight the poverty. But then again, I have one thing that I know the solution will be. Let's just all remember that our education is really most important. So therefore, let's just help other people to teach the right education, because I believe as a part of the state, I have a responsibility to teach in everyone, especially those kind of people who cannot undergo school. Ladies and gentlemen, as a pre-law student, what I believe in the Article 14, Section 1 of our 1987 Philippine Constitution states, it is the education, science, sports, and arts. Under that, Article 14, the state shall promote and protect all the people of the citizens of the nation and make the quality of education accessible to all. Will therefore, if we are going to study, will therefore, at the end of the day, the poverty will eradicate soon. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's Mary G. Lopez. Also, oh, it's me. Yeah, you have to wear those now. It's your girl too, who you are. Thank you. 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 Thank You picked hashtag unemployment. Again, hashtag unemployment. All right. Thank you for a wonderful question. And let's say hi to our visitors that is coming right now. The hashtag that I picked is unemployment. Well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that it's one of the problems of our country, the Philippines, that there are a lot of people, most especially at the age of 30 to 50, are unemployed. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that the very mere fact that the reason why there are a lot of people that is unemployed because they have lack of education. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, just what like candidate number five said, it is important that everyone should acknowledge and most especially imply to themselves that they should finish college, that they should finish high school. So that at the end of the day, if they have a um, right profession, a right job, I believe there would be no more unemployment. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that we should always inculcate into their minds what is the importance of education to everyone. Because I believe kung ano nga po ang sinabi ni Dr. Jose Rizal ng edukasyon ang susi sa tagumpay. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, na lagi natin tatandaan at lagi natin itatakta sa ating mga sarili, lalong-lalo na sa mga kabataan na nalulunog sa droga, na papariwara at umang sa ilalim sa depresyon, lagi mong tatandaan na palahagahan ang edukasyon dahil lagi natin tatandaan na kapag meron ka nito, wala kang tayo. Thank you. Pam Diaz, also known as Miss Andrea Torres. 
We all know that climate change is a root for our Mother Earth. Just like candidate number two said that we should take care of our Mother Earth so that we don't feel this climate change. Because at the end of the day, we are the only one that is in our hands, in our hands, in our hands, in our hands, in our hands. And we always remember that Mother Nature can live without us, but us cannot live without our mother nature. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Adria Torres. And now let's call candidate number eight, Miss Dimple Town, also known as Jackie. And the girl Gonzaga. Hello, Jackie. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing great too. So, how's the experience at uh, Showtime? Uh, it's really great because I'm having fun when I join the q and Yes, it's very important. You should enjoy every single moment of your life. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ay, ang pagpunalilito na kayo sa host, pwede nyo magpasin para ano. And Ate Girl, Pit, hashtag violence. Well, Again, hashtag violence. Well, well, hashtag violence, well, it all starts with the poverty because of the less fortunate people and those people who are treated thinking only for themselves. That's why they come up with the violence. And the reason why that we have a lot of violence in our country because we create starvation, unemployment, and education people. That's why I believe that our government should focus to those people and more especially for those less fortunate people to give, their, give them opportunity to take education, to give them employment, and most of all, to teach them how to live their life for the better life ahead of them. Because I believe if we work together, definitely, we can avoid violence in our country. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy girl, Jackie Gonzaga. Candidate number nine, Miss Aya Garcia. Also known as Miss Julia Barreto. Julia Barreto is the only one. Huh? Maganda rin naman mo si Julia. Okay. Mas maganda kasi mo si Julia. Ay, mawa pa rin isu, di ba? Hindi, mas maganda ka rin ka ba? Sige pa niya. Okay. 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 Miss Julia Barreto picked lack of education. Again, hashtag lack of education. Okay, very, um, I would like to thank you for giving me this hashtag lack of education for this very timely nowadays. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, let's face the reality that there are many street children who is lack of education. They don't have the experience to go to school. But at this high moment in time, I am calling 
all those parents, those mothers and fathers to let your children experience education. Why? It is simply because if a person has his own education, no one can get everything from him. Therefore, mothers and parents, let your children go to school and let them experience a wonderful life. Always remember that it is not only in the school you will learn, but also inside the family. If you don't have the money to let your children go to school, let, them, let you teach them, your children, to do great things and to do wisdom and values in life. Because at that certain point, these little children who doesn't go to school, if they will know the values and wisdom that parents have taught them, they will become a well-rounded, a dignified, and a respected individual. Therefore, I would thank those parents who let their children to go to school, even though it is so hard for them. I would raise up my hand and salute them that they had their mission accomplished as a parent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's Maria Remember that we will teach you how to do it. Number Because I started the new condo and it will enter in the city of Manila. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to go there. 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 Hashtag Substance Abuse. Again, hashtag Substance Abuse. Thank you so much for that hashtag. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the last candidate to answer your question. And there's a lot of politicians in front of me now. And it is really hard for me to insinuate the manner, or my opinion, is simply because it may be right for others, but wrong for some. And right for some, but wrong for others. But since I am a transgender teacher by profession, I will always inculcate to each and every Filipino people that in every beauty pageant, you should live a mark. Because at the end of the day, we will not be seeing each other. At least you make an impact to the society for you to be able to understand and loved by them. Well, the hashtag that I pick is substance abuse. We have to admit the fact that the Philippine community nowadays is really on a situation where there is what we call extrajudicial killing. And those are the things that happen in the community simply because of the abuse of substance. And that is the abuse of illegal drugs. Drug addiction is not the key for you to be able to become a well-rounded person in this world. Because drug addiction will never be an answer, will never be a solution for another cause for you to be able to be loved and accepted in the community. Rather, you should always think what's in your heart, put into action what our leaders had taught us to do. Always remember that we are here in this world not to abuse ourselves. Because to remember, you are celebrating the feast day of Black Nazarene. And God himself died on the cross. It's simply because of our sins. And our body is the temple of God. If you abuse your body, definitely you abuse God himself. Always remember, ladies and gentlemen, that God is omnipotent, omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient. He only knows what to do. Prayer is the key. Intelligence, education will always be the key. Let's love one another because at the end of the day, no more extrajudicial killing, but rather, pass and
Peace be with you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.